Alright guys, Jeff Lee here. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video, and how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. This is the first episode, so... This is going to be getting started, getting things together. Um, we have actually not got much of a day left. They've already been in this world just loading the terrain in, so we don't have too many lag spikes. We are playing in 14W11B. This is technically a 1.8 let's play. Um, I'm actually using the Steve skin at the minute. A very glitched out Steve skin. Simply because I'm in the process of designing this skin. It's not quite ready yet. So yeah, uh, I'm going to s sleep the night off, get some things together, and I'll see you again shortly. And we're back. The sun is just about to come up, so we'll head up. There's actually a zombie knocking around. Not really in a position to be fighting anything, but we can have a look. That's just there. Um, so yeah, I've got the basic equipment together now, so we're going to have a wander around, see what we can find. We could really, really do find some cows or something, get some food together. But they don't want to be fighting anything. Best way to go about this is... Oh. Get rid of this zombie. Um, we are going to die, unless we find something quick. Zombie flesh will do for now. Just tied us along. Um, I don't know which way to head. I think there's a swamp over there. I think they usually have cows, don't they? Or chicken or something. Yeah, we'll head that way. Um, I'm not sure what that forest is called. Is it dark forest or something like that? Could go that way. I've got some sheep to get a bed. Try and get some wool together as well on our way. Where did that other sheep go? There it is. Um, uh, it'd be nice if there's a witch's hut in this swamp. That'd be quite cool. Is that another sheep that I saw? Nope. Oh, we've got a pig, thank you. Two pigs. Thank God for that. A few frame drops while that world renders in. Oh, that was a nice drop. Um, see what we'll do. Take one of this. Put our furnace down. Get some charcoal on the go, cook some of this up so we don't die. There's some coal there actually. Can't hit him. Right, so we've got a bed now, so at least we can sleep the night away. Where was that furnace? Hurry up, we are going to die. Can't click. There we go. That experience. Right, um, we'll keep walking through this one for then. See if we can find a witch's hut or something. It would be very nice actually if we did find the witches up because we are actually going to build around the jungle barn there. But anyway, I'll explain more about that a bit later on, not to keep the surprise. Right, get some more food down this. Get this health back up. Try and get a bit more together. Oh, we're out of coal. Oh no, not, not quite. We'll grab some from just over there. Oh, it's nice to be able to sprint again. Grab the iron as well while we're here. Um, try to think what's the best thing to do. Have to go about it. We'll just get some resources together now while we're here. But gonna do a big caving session off camera. Just to get it. Just have a wonder about. See what's around here. Best thing to do. Quite a nice cave system it looks like. What's that uh, red cobble called? I've seen that. Let's have a look. Granite. Oh, that's nice. This is actually my first time playing in 1.8. I've only seen these things on other people's Let's Plays and Snapshot videos. It's quite interesting to see what they look like. Oh, I'm actually using the 
faithful texture pack, which is the default texture pack just with a better resolution. If I remember, I'll link it in the description just in case you want to use it as well. Chop this tree down as well, get a bit of wood together. And we'll head through the swamp. Uh, can't leave this bit here. Right. Let's get the food on the hot that. And let's roll. A witch hood would be really, really nice. Really, really nice. We've got some more pigs and things while we're on our way. We should have just took note where that jungle was actually. Let's take a screenshot of our coordinates. There we go. Let's roll. Um, I'm not sure how, how swamps actually work. Right. Well, that should be one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to take a phone call. So yeah, I'd start cooking this pork up again while I was waiting. We'll get moving. Um, yep, there we go. Do a new pickaxe soon, actually. Make an iron one next. So I'll just keep wandering through the swamp, see what we can find. Really would like to find a witch as well. Really would. That'd be great. I'm not sure what conditions they need to spawn, exactly. Is that... Are they found near water, or...? Really not sure, or they just spawn anywhere. Maybe you could let me know if you do that. But the swamp goes further back that way. Um, we'll keep heading this way for now. See what we can find. If not, we'll head back towards the jungle. What's that? Oh, witch's hut! wonder what the heck that was. Um, that's very nice. It's just what we wanted to find. We're watching Doc M77's videos and he does a lot of work with witches' farms and it looks great. Do they usually have chests or something in? Or is that it? That must be it. Uh, I think I remember where that is. So what we'll do is head back towards the jungle and go in the other direction. See what else we can find. Yeah, I know where that witch is at least, so we'll do something like that later on. Let's keep going. I think we've got enough food, haven't we, for now? Yeah, we've got plenty. We'll let some pigs live. We'll grab some sugar cane actually while we're here. Oh, how's we going up the tree? So yeah, about the skin actually, I'll tap it out for a second. Um, I'm actually designing the skin at the minute, but I'm not quite happy with it. So, at the minute we're using the Steve skin, a very glitched out Steve skin as you saw. But, yeah, over the next few episodes I'll probably have the skin set up then. I'm very, uh, I'm very, what's the word? I'm a perfectionist, I would say. I'd like it to be exactly as I want. So... Yeah. What's that? Can you see that there? Just there. Is that like melons or something like, like a melon? I'm not sure. Let's go and have a look. Like I say, I've played in 1.7, just not 1.8. So, all this is completely new. See? Whoa. Frame drops. Whoa, we're going to crash. Whoa. There we go. That was a bit. Stranger, it's getting night actually. Maybe we should sleep. I'll just get a bed set up so we can sleep once it comes. Keep having a look around, see what we're doing. Got the remote entry. Yeah, we'll just sleep now. Where have those gone? I'm really curious as to what those were. Looks like a melon. I think it is a melon. Had it now melon spawned? Like that, I thought it was just pumpkins. 
is quite cool. Another food source already. Can we not sleep yet? Come on, son, hurry up. Let's get some rest. Just start grabbing everything you can see just in case for later on. Right. Clear some inventory. I'm not a big fan of having a messy hot bar. There we go. Some sleep. The jungle biome is actually the original spawn, so if we die around here, it doesn't really matter. Right. Oh, yeah, melons. That's great. Didn't know that. Quite a few, actually, as well. Are they replacing pumpkins, or are the pumpkins still spawn like this? So, let's see. Maybe we'll build some sort of little house for the minute just to get us started. So, where to store everything? Have a permanent spawn cell. Just have a few more of these. Make sure, we've got plenty of food. Might be a good idea. Finding a village, that'd be nice. We'll keep heading this way, see what we can find. If we get lucky and find a village and a witch hut in about 100 blocks of the actual spawn, that'd be very handy. Very lucky. So yeah, we'll just head into this plains area, see what we can find. Right, here we go. Um, oh, doesn't look like we're going to find a village. No, we don't see around that. Whoa! That seems unusually large to me, I'm not sure. Can't see a mine shaft. Wow, them pigs are looking at there's water down there. <laughs> cool. Oh, we've got some horses, that's quite handy. I do really like the horses in this game. They're excellent. Really great addition. So yeah guys, I'll keep wandering around, see what I can find. If you find anything interesting, I'll get back to you. And welcome back guys, how you doing? So yeah, I had a little wonder in that direction and I couldn't really find anything of interest to show you so I thought we'd come back over here and start to get our little shed area set up. So this is what we've gone with at the minute, it is 2555, the interior the birchwood area is 5x5, five five, the cobblestone is 7x7 seven seven, and the distance between the, well, the wood to wood is 9. So that's what we're going with. It's actually right next to the ravine. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the ravine is just there. All we're going to do is we're going to build the framework of the house, or shed, whichever you want. This is the way I like to build things. I like to lay the floor plan down first. So this is what we've got. And then we will build the framework and we'll build the rest of the walls up and things. So I think that from this area, I think we'll go four blocks on each. Four. One, two, three, and four. Two. There we go. Around again. Gonna out of wood before we know it. I actually brought some saplings back with me so we can get some trees planted actually, I think it's a good thing to do. Is that four? Yep. Right, so yeah, we could just get some of these saplings planted so we can get some more wood on the go. I have to keep wandering really far to get some. Hopefully we can get a saddle quickly so we can get a horse together. Make wandering around a lot easier. Some more of these down, might as well plant them all out here. So yeah, that's what we've got now. This is going to be the entrance. Not sure if it's best to... Just deciding what to do really. 
do we go for some pillar like this across a beam I should say like this what do we think let's have a look yes no maybe I think it all depends if we're going for two floors or not um, at the minute I'm going to say no we're going to need a new axe in a second No, yeah, I, no, definitely not. I don't think so. So, right. Uh, cook some more food. We'll get this iron going so we can get an axe together. We'll just make a stone one for now. And then we will have another try. When you're building something like this, I just find it's a lot of trial and error. So, let's try something that doesn't work. Try something else. Maybe we should make a door so we can visualise it better. How this area is going to look. It's not going to be a house that's like a kitchen and things like that, it's just going to be basically a shed. It's a shed, not a house really. It's going to store everything in it. So we've got some point of reference so you can have all our equipment together. Not really sure what wood to use for the walls, so we'll probably just have to use oak, cause that's all we have at the minute. We'll get some of that on the go. Maybe we should get some stairs as well. Gonna run out of wood very very quickly here. Can make a few of these. That's probably not enough. Oops. A few more on the go. Maybe go window. Oops. Window. We have got any sand. I have to fill those in later. Window. Window. Maybe. Solid. Solid. And the door in between. Let's get a door. Oh, we get three. That's quite cool. And the stack. Wow. Sweet. Have they changed the texture of the door? In the inventory, that looks different. I'm not really sure what it looks like in the default texture pack. No, no, it still looks the same. That's quite cool. It's been a while since I've played Minecraft, if you probably guess. No one to eat all these. Um. So sorry, let's have a look what this looks like from this side now. We seem to be dawdling a bit. Obviously we're going to put some sort of bal uh, not balcony, a decking area here. Let's get in and out of the house. Keep going the house when it's a shed. But we'll try and... So we need two of them. I like things to be symmetrical, obviously. Let's try something like that. Do we want a big window? Or do we go for our two small windows, maybe something like that. And have them flush to the ground. That could be quite cool. Probably fill this in actually as well. We can put some carpet down, something. This cobblestone is in the inside areas is completely temporary. Just to split the rooms really. Once we decide what we're doing. We'll change the floor up. A bit more cobble just to just so you can see so yeah quite like that i think that two like windows that are not like these are going, the windows in the front are going to be like one glass pane whereas these we could have two or three as we go up what we'll do is we'll build this room up then i'll do the other room off camera just to get it done this could be quite cool oops on that one there. I do like to have these this like divide between the rooms. Something that's quite interesting. Um just breaks it up so you get a few frame drops here. But yeah, I think it will look a lot better once we get some glass in there. Yeah, I do I think that's something that's quite cool too. What we will do, we'll just just try this. Oh yes, I do like that. So just bring that across. Oops, don't like that. Oh, great, we could even use some colour glass actually. That is that looks really cool. 
So yeah, we'll go with that on that side. I think if we maybe do something similar here. Let's get um, one on here. Can I reach that? No, definitely can't. There we go. And we'll just try this. Oops, not like that. And get one in the middle as well. Yeah. Oh, it's not placing that one. There we go. What do we think? Yes? No? Uh, I think I quite like it. Maybe actually now's a good time to try see what it'd look like with the killer across. What do we think? Maybe. I suppose it depends whether we have a second floor on or not. What we actually reckon. So yeah, uh, I'll do a little bit more off camera and then I'll get back to you in a second. See you later. Welcome back guys. So yeah, a lot has changed since the last cut. And as you can see I went over to the dark forest over there if you remember. It's actually called a roofed forest. For those of you that didn't know, had a quick check. And I got some dark oak wood and I've actually got a tree just there. Uh, the tree farm the tree farm area is coming on now. It's actually in doubt we'll sleep. Um so yeah I replaced all those with dark I think it looks a lot better. I've uh, put some glass panes in where the windows will go. Only with a three window three high window here. Just to change it up really and just give it different. I've done a little farming area just over here. Which um just gonna grow some wheat and things, you know, to keep stuff going, to keep the food supply coming in. And I'll take you inside and set there's no nothing to see, it's completely empty, but yeah, so it'd be nice to give you this update now. Got some a little bit more iron. Oh I actually grabbed some of these new blocks. New stone blocks, so we'd have a mess around with them. They'll probably be in the next episode now actually, we're actually getting on quite a bit, so I'll probably just take you around this and then we'll call it an episode there, I think. Come on, let me sleep, Minecraft. Thank you. Keeps giving me the achievements. Not sure why. Yeah, I'll take you around anyway. So yeah, here we go. More of this nice uh, arched style, just to split the rooms up. Like, quite a good idea. Looks pretty cool. Looks a bit different. Um, just up here, we've just got the roof rear. Really. There's some lighting issues in this snapshot. Hopefully they'll be fixed. Try to update them, but it doesn't work. Maybe it's the inside that needs lighting a little bit better. And I've actually dug out the space for a basement where the storage is going to go. And we'll get around to that in the next episode now. So yeah, see you out to the farm. So you can have a look around to see what we're doing. Under these half slabs is all water, which is is it fertilizing or making it so that you so you can grow crops and I'm not sure what the word is. Oh, what is the word? It's been in my head in that whole day. Fertilizer is not the right word, but that's all I can think of. So yeah, anyway. Uh, I've been Jeff League. I really did hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you again next time.